like sex workers are everywhere yeah in every facet of the word and it's it's about time that we kind of like bust through and have some opportunities and I really feel like somebody that like kind of started from the ground up and and I and I kind of do feel like not like some people thought I was saying it in a negative way towards me but like if I can do it that means you can do it and like mm-hmm. not in like a negative way like woe is me like no in a compliment like you really can do whatever you want to do if you care and you put your time in and it matters to you because mm-hmm. again like if I can do it like on my own so can you just give a shit like yeah. and and be and that, proud. And that's the great thing about the adult industry is that it embraces all different kinds of people, yeah. all different body types, all different kinds of sexual preferences, gender, non-binary, yes. cis, trans, like all that More stuff. More than ever too now. Yeah. And, and it's really all kind of coming to light and, and it's really all coming together and people are becoming more accepting of of all of that. And especially like you were saying earlier with the ability to be able to produce and yeah. sell your own content, you know, now you really can make what you care about yeah, and you will find people who are into what you're into. Completely. You know, there's like what, like a, they would say like a hole for every nail or something yeah. silly. Like there's totally something for everyone. And then you never know until you try. Mm-hmm. And I tell some of these uh, girls too, especially the younger ones, like don't necessarily fake it till you make it, but like you can really do whatever you want. So if you don't feel like certain people are hiring you or paying attention to you, you can still put out quality, great content almost to even show people like, hey, I can do this. I can look this way. I can act or I am flexible or whatever you're trying to show off. Mm -hmm. Like you really can do that. And in an ironic way, sometimes like that really gets more attention on you from some of those people. Yeah, because you're considered like a trailblazer. Yeah. And like, and if you're proving that people are buying my content, like my fan base is growing, then like people are going to have no choice but to acknowledge you and respect you. So it really is like you can be as popular as you want to be even without a lot of backing and push nowadays, which right. you couldn't 15, 20 years no, ago. Absolutely not. Yeah. So what is the main, like what's your main source of revenue in terms of like, or your main hub where you create your own content? I know you have like a many vids profile. I do. I love many vids. I think many vids has been great, especially because they've also, uh, they have the, you can sell your merchandise, which was so yeah. surprisingly hard for the past 10 years. Like there's yeah. no place besides like a personal website linked to like your bank accounts well, and especially stuff. especially since PayPal bans you. Right. Yeah. PayPal bans us. eBay would kick us off. Yeah. Like you couldn't sell like your bras on eBay, even though people are selling like period stain, like leggings on yeah. eBay. Like I yeah. always thought that was kind of gross, but, <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, the fact that there is like, they allow you to do a lot of things at once like you can sell things buy things you can sell uh, like a chat time they can mm-hmm. buy even your snap from many vids so I think many vids was like a really great uh, creation because it also kind of keeps people uh, having to do better because many vids is so accessible and there's it, it's so performer friendly mm-hmm. so you can really do all of that on your own so I think it's making people like really kind of yeah. think a little more um in terms of I Honestly, I have like so many different streams of revenue right yeah. now. Like I uh monthly I have many vids, my OnlyFans, uh Fan Central, which is my premium Snapchat, my website. Uh, What's your website? RomyRain.com. Okay. I've had smart yeah, to get I, that URL. I bought it. I said it's in a different interview. I bought my URL before I even shot my first solo. Yeah, that's like that's uh, honestly, you know, when people are like, What's the first piece of advice I'd give a girl before you shoot anything? Buy your fucking URL because yep. if you don't, somebody else will buy yep. it and they will hold it hostage and try to sell it to you for an insane amount of money. Yeah. Oh my god, I've heard like horror Go on stories. GoDaddy.com and spend like seven ninety five. Yeah. Seven dollars and ninety five cents, people. It's worth and buy it. Buy your goddamn URL. Even if you never use it, just fucking buy it. No, for sure. It's worth it. And again, it's just maintaining control of your own image. Like, yeah. you know, just fucking put up your social medias on there if you really yeah. wanted to. Um, I also have a flashlight, a sex toy, which is awesome, and a Kiru sex toy. Um, so, uh, and then, and then scenes kind of on top right. of that. Oh, and camming. I webcam as well sometimes. I webcam from my own website, my free cams, cam soda. So, I mean, I, I really do have, what was that, like six, seven, eight different mm-hmm. monthly revenue streams, yeah. but that's the way to do it. Yep. I mean, in my opinion, like you can't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. You shouldn't just depend on scenes. Right. 
Hey guys, if you wanna support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.